Now Harry Kane turns his man, goes for the shot. Harry Kane is a bloody cheat code. He can literally score from anywhere. I know it's just Everton, a team that's struggling in the league. But Harry Kane makes it look so freaking easy, man. Still Kane finds Eriksen. This is our chance to score. Christian Eriksen with the finesse shot into the bottom right corner. This time it wasn't Harry Kane with the goal. He assisted the goal and there was some brilliant build-up play. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Spurs Career Mode series. And today we've got ourselves another action-packed episode. We've got a lot of Premier League games in which we are doing really well. So let's hope we can keep that form up. Champions League action as well. And also in the previous episode, we unlocked that Scout of Future Star thing from the catalog. So potentially we could be getting an extremely talented youngster to our academy. So a lot's going to go down in today's episode. So if you guys are excited, drop a like on this video. If you guys can smash out 500 likes once again i will guarantee you guys an episode in a couple of days because i would have uploaded tomorrow but tomorrow i'm going to be uploading the barcelona career modes final episode so yeah a day after that maybe we can you know resume this first career mode so go down there smash out 500 likes and i'll guarantee you guys an episode really really soon and if you are new around here watching my videos for the first time make sure to subscribe for more fifa 18 career mode content now youtube these days has been very dodgy you know like the site just hasn't been working that well with notifications not going and all. So if you guys want to just secure yourself getting a notification, make sure to, you know, click the bell icon, select, uh, send all notifications or whatever it is and get yourself notified whenever I upload. So anyways, let's move on. We've got ourselves a press conference today. So let's kick things off. First press conference question for the day is about Eric Lamella again. I mean, we talked about him, I think, in the previous episode. Will Lamella be a big part of your plans? The answer is no, because he just hasn't been good enough for me. Like, against Burnley in the Premier League when we did play him, he didn't shine. And even in the Carabao Cup where we got knocked out, which was a bit funny. But anyways, he didn't really perform that well. So, so far, he hasn't impressed me. He still has about five months to do that. And if he does impress me, he will stay, but probably as a substitute, not as a first team player. Otherwise, I will have to replace him because so far he hasn't impressed me at all. Moving on to the next question. This one's about Ryan Sesegna, our extremely talented left back or left winger that we did sign from Fulham. The question is, will you play Sesegna as a winger from time to time? I'm not so sure because I kind of see him as my backup left back, at least for now. We do have the likes of Sonnen and Kudu in that left mid role, but the thing is, if needs be, he can play that role. So I'm not closing any doors for him, but I see him as my backup left back, at least for now. Let's see how things progress regarding him. This one is more of a rumour than a question. Kane has expressed his frustration in a press conference about being subbed off on a hat-trick against Everton. What are your thoughts about this? Now, this is very interesting, but the thing is, Kane probably knows he's at a top club. He may be frustrated at this, but he knows it's for the better mint of himself and the club because we need Harry Kane at those big clubs. You guys have already seen how influential Kane has been for us with all his goals. I believe he scored five goals in four games in the Premier League. So we basically need Harry Kane in pretty much every game this season. So he's going to have to deal with that. That is it guys for this press conference. If you guys have any more press conference questions, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below. It's now time to move on. We've got a Premier League game. Let's try and get all three points. Player of the episode this time around goes to Harry Kane for two goals and one assist in the previous episode. Was man of the match in one game and both of his goals were really nice piece of work. I mean, the second goal, left foot, bang, top bins and he was just phenomenal in the previous episode. And I think we're going to see him quite a few times here being nominated for player of the episode and actually winning it as well. So let's hope our main man Harry Kane can keep up this form. First game of the episode at the Wembley Stadium at home to of course Swansea. They're a team that are struggling so I'm expecting to get all three points. We've got a week gap between this game and the next game which is a bit of a derby against West Ham. So we've got enough time to rest our players so I'm going with my strongest 11 for this game and hoping we can get a result here. It's obviously a strong team with the likes of Kane, Son. I'm still giving a few youngsters some game time. Trippier starts ahead of, of course, I believe Serge Aurea and Sesegna also starts ahead of Ben Davies because why not? It's a strong team, let's get the result. But anyways, could see a chance now for Swansea. Olsen gets the shots off, Lodis makes the save. So far this game has been a struggle and lately in the Premier League even though we're getting results, 
We haven't been playing the best of football. Maybe it's down to the formation. We've got to probably change something again at halftime. Kane. Now Deli Ali. This might be his chance. Deli Ali gets away from the Swansea defense. Goes for the shot. And Deli Ali scores. I was just talking about this formation not working. Guess what? It is working as we take the lead against Swansea. 41st minute of this game as we make it 1-0. Deli Ali with a brilliantly done goal. And I think Harry Kane got the assist for this one. What was that defender doing? He literally just stopped there. And I just have no idea what he was doing. But anyways, 1-0 to Spurs. Oh, could be another chance for us. Son cuts this one back. It finds to Deli Ali, who scores again. Did I say it finds to? I mean, I wanted to say it falls to Deli Ali. But regardless, Deli Ali with a really nice finesse shot. And we make it two goals to nil. We were kind of struggling up to like the 40 minute mark. But suddenly Deli Ali comes alive, scores a couple of goals. And we are looking real, real good. Son won't get the assist for this one. But Deli Ali, right place at the right time. And a brilliantly done goal again. As we make it 2-0 versus Swansea. Are you? Narsing. Narsing, are you? And wow, Swansea with a really good goal actually. And I think this one's come from are you? Really nice finish. Just as the second half begins, Swansea are right back in this one. Not good news at all. But we are still leading 2-1. We are still in the advantage. So let's hope we can keep it that way. Potentially add to a goal. But add to our goal tally. But right now, Swansea looking pretty good in the second half. Danilo Pereira finds Harry Kane. We might need something from Kane. Turns his man. Goes for the shot. Harry Kane's shooting is ridiculous. He literally just turns. Takes a couple of touches here and there. And just bangs it with either foot. And it's pretty much a goal. What even is Harry Kane? I have no idea. He, it's now his sixth Premier League goal of the season in like five games. This being his fifth game. Just nuts as we make it 3-1 against Swansea. I guess finally this 4-2-3-1-ish formation is working for us now. Which is brilliant because we did struggle with it against the likes of Burnley and all. So pretty happy about that. Eriksen has been a bit quiet this game. Let's see what he can produce now. Cuts inside. Puts in a nice cross to Harry Kane who wallies this one. That would have been a sensational goal. But it wasn't to be. But again, brilliant football from Spurs. We are playing some nice football. And I know it's only Swansea, but pretty happy about that, you know? Narsen gets in behind my defense. And oh, his shot hits the post. Very close, man. Swansea have given us a good game. Time to make a few changes. We're going to bring on Wanyama for Eric Zaya. Dyer didn't really have the best of games. And we're going to also bring on Lucas for... Let's bring him on for Eriksen. Or, yeah, Eriksen. I wanted to bring off Deli Ali, but Deli Ali is on a hat-trick. So I better keep him on. And, yeah, Lucas playing out wide as my right winger for this game. His added pace will definitely help us counter Swansea. Are you again? Now Olsen puts in a cross. Get it away. Done well, you know. Ali putting on the pressure. Oh no, this is not good. Narsing plays this one wide to Klukas. Cross played in and it's Ayu who misses from about 7 to 8 yards out. How has he missed that opportunity, man? Swansea have had like two clear-cut chances after we scored the third. They could have easily been back in this one. Oh, look at the space opening up. Here's Son. Son, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He should score this and what? Son, man, you've got to be finishing those chances. But Ryan Sesegno actually created that chance for Son, so that's nice to see. And he's having a good game, you know. He's only 17 and he's playing in a big Premier League game. So, really happy with his progress so far. Son on a good run. Cuts inside. Squares this one to Deli Ali, who gets his hat trick. He's got to thank Son for that goal. But Deli Ali with a really nice finish. Once again, right foot. But this time it was more of a tap in. But regardless, he gets his first hat trick in this series. I'm not sure if he's going to get many, but if he plays like this, he probably will. Son, what a what a skill move there to get past his opponent. And then I was trying to give it to Harry Kane, but it fell to Deli Ali perfectly. But regardless, 4-1 against Swansea. Really happy with this result considering how we had to struggle in our last few Premier League games. There you have it guys, a massive win for us against Swansea. Four goals to one. Man of the match in this game has to be this man who gets the match ball. Dele Ali. what a performance from him. Three goals, especially that second goal. That was a really good goal. Even the first one was brilliant. And the third one required good positional awareness. So all in all, fantastic performance from us. 4-1 in the Premier League and now we've made it 5 wins out of 5 in the Prem. So let's hope we can keep this run going. I'm getting some training done right now. The likes of Wings, Foyt, Walker Peters, Martinez, Sesegna all getting their training done. It's very necessary if we want these players to get high ratings. Sesegna got to be in his training already. His first training session. That is nice to see. The same with Foyt. 
But yeah, training session done. I'm going to be using the this preset for training for a while now to, you know, get these players up in their overalls. We finally got our first monthly scouting update and you guys know we sent one of our scouts to England, the one we hired. And he's going to bring us some talent. Oh, Jonathan Kelly, what a top talent this looks to be. A goalkeeper, 78 to 94 potential. That is brilliant. We'll sign him up. Uh, Charlie Mitchell, I'm going to reject. Sam Mason looks pretty decent, 70 to 94, I think that was. Ed Davis looks horrible. Henry Murphy, I mean, I don't think he should become a footballer with that kind of potential. Oh, I think we've got ourselves a top, top talent. He's only 15 and a potential of between 83 to 94. That is one of the best youngsters I've seen in career mode. He is going to be magical for us in seasons to come. And I can't wait to see what talents our scout brings next month. We are yet to get that top talent which we get from the scout of future star thing. So I'm eager to see who we get from that. Our next game is also in the Premier League. This one being against the struggling West Ham side in 16th place. And I'm hoping we can beat them. It's a derby and I'm going with my strongest 11. Kane, Ali, Son, Eriksen all start this game. I know we've got a Champions League game midweek but... It's not against the tough side, it's against Copenhagen, so we can afford to, you know, switch out some plays in that game. But as this is a derby, we've got to go with our strongest 11. And as you can see, I've done exactly that. And also, a lot of you guys did complain about me playing Eriksen as a right midfielder. But if I show you guys his stats, he has not scored that many goals or gotten that many assists. But his match rating is very high, which shows that he's really involved in the play. And the instructions I've given him is to come short which basically means he's acting as an interior midfielder so that role kind of suits him and that's how i'm playing you know son kane ali i'm basically the players that are going forward and getting me the goals ericsson is practically just creating chances for the team so that's how this team basically sets up and i think it's working well in the previous episode it didn't but now this 4-2-3-1 formation is working so as long as it's working i'm gonna stick with it and as soon as it doesn't we we will switch to maybe a 4-1-2-1-2 or something of that sort but anyways let's move into this game against West Ham and pick ourselves potentially another three points in this derby Dembele finds Kane now Deli Ali Ali strikes it well what a goal from Deli Ali who's having the episode of his life who scores a cracker to make it 1-0 in this derby game in this London derby against West Ham United Harry Kane with another assist but we can't really say it was an assist because it was all basically Deli Ali's brilliance. I mean, look at that. Dembele did well to find the ball to Kane. Kane just knocks it to Deli Ali, and then Ali with a scorcher of an attempt to put us into the lead. What a strike from Ali, and that is why he is playing as our cam. He's just lethal. Kuyate, long ball approach out wide to Odria Zola, crosses this one. Loris clears it, finds its way to Odria Zola. That's poor defending from me, who tries to cross it once again, but Son tracking back. Ali. Back to Son. Son finesses it too good. This this the football we're playing right now in this series. Absolutely sensational. I know we've only faced like easy teams in the Premier League apart from Chelsea, but we're playing some sensational football. And what a pass again from Deli Ali, who is running the show in this episode. Previously it's been Harry Kane who's been the main man, but right now it's Deli Ali. What a pass to Son. And that is a top-notch finish from the South Korean youngster. Can we call him a youngster? I think he's 24 or 25 right now, but what a finish from him. Oh no, Jao Mario gets the ball back. Andy Carroll fights Anatovic, goes for the shot, and wow! That is an attempt and a half from Anatovic to put West Ham right back into this game. We have the advantage, just like we had against Swansea. Let's hope the game goes according to plan. Now Harry Kane, back to Deli Alley. This could be his chance to get a brace, and he doesn't miss. The kind of form Deli Alley is in... He can probably score from like 40 yards or so because everything he seems to be doing is just going according to plan as we make it 3-1 against West Ham just before halftime. Harry Kane is turning out to be our provider for this episode. What, three or four assists already? Deli Ali, man, take a bow. Brilliant finish again. And now I think that is his fifth goal of this episode already. He could be setting up a record for most goals scored in an episode, which will be really nice to see. Kane to Deli Ali. Back to Eriksen, back to Kane, Kane shoots, Kane scores, Harry Kane is the most lethal finisher 
I've used in FIFA 18. He scores with practically any shot you give him. In this episode, he's m mostly had like chances to just pass out to his teammates. But then also when he's had like a half chance or anything of that sort, he's buried the ball into the back of the net and he's done that once again. This time Christian Eriksen with the assist, but look at that for a finish. He didn't really have much time to get the shot off, but in that moment of time where he had the chance to get the shots off, he did it perfectly as we lead 4-1 in this derby against West Ham. 4-1 and this game kind of seems done and dusted so I am making a few changes and bringing on Lucas and also Eric Lamella for Deli Ali. I know he's on a hat-trick once again but this time I want to give Lamella some minutes in this game and also I'm going to bring on Harry Winks for Musa Dembele and yeah that's the three subs I'm making. I think this game is done so we don't really have much to worry about. Still Chicharito finds Anatovic who goes for the shot also Vidal with the block. After our fourth goal, West Ham have really tried hard to get back into this game, but our defending has been really good. And again, we do clear the ball away. Not really. It's Audrey Zola, and this just sums up West Ham's night. Their plays tackling into each other. But regardless, we get a job done. A win in this London derby. Four goals to one. And that means we've scored, what, eight goals in our last two games? Did we score three or four against Swansea? I don't even remember. That's the amount of goals we've actually scored. I think we did score four against Swansea. Regardless, it's been unreal our last couple of games. Let's hope we can keep this form up in our upcoming games. We've got a Champions League game in midweek and another Premier League game after that. And in the next month of October... My god, we've got some tough games. The likes of Real Madrid, United, Liverpool. So we've got to keep this form up so that when we face those big teams, we can deliver. But really impressed with today's performance. Getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup may have just been a blessing in disguise as right now we're in the best spot possible in the Premier League. Six games played, six wins in the Prem, 15 goals scored and just two conceded. It really can't get any better for us. 18 points out of a possible 18. Only Manchester City look like a team that can compete against us. They've got 16 points. They've just drawn one game. It's going to be a battle against Pep Guardiola this season. We haven't really faced any tough oppositions bar Chelsea. So we don't really know how we're going to do against the big sides. When we do face them, we will find out. But for now, it's Champions League action. We've got Copenhagen, a team that we should be able to beat. And I'm going to try and put in a strong team for this one. We might actually go ahead and rest players against, of course, Huddersfield because they're not really a top team, but I really want to take this game against Copenhagen seriously because finishing in those top two spots in the Champions League group is going to be difficult because of the group and the difficulty of our group. So we've got to take most of this game against Copenhagen and secure ourselves a victory in this one. Just wanted to check Deli Ali's stats before we actually jump into that Champions League game. He has played seven games this season in the Premier League and in the Champions League. Five goals and five assists. What a player. If he keeps this up, I don't know, man. He could potentially win the golden boot ahead of Harry Kane. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit too much. And looking at Harry Kane's stats, he's got seven goals in the Premier League and three assists as well. And one assist in the Champions League. He's yet to score for us in the Champions League. Can he change that in this upcoming game? But so far, Harry Kane is having a blast. Time for Champions League action and I'm always excited for Champions League games. You guys already know that and I'm going with a strong team. I kind of thought my players won't be fully fit but guess what? Most of them are and hence they're all starting for this game. As we do have the likes of Real Madrid and Dortmund in our group, we can't afford to take this game lightly because if we do, if we drop points in this one, it'll mean that we'll have to win against either Real Madrid or Dortmund once again which is again going to be a ridiculously tough task. I don't want that to happen. I want to get a victory right here against Copenhagen. And I may have to rest players against Huddersfield. You never know. But anyways, it's a strong team. Solid players playing all in good form like Harry Kane, Ali and all. Let's hope we can get the job done once again. Dembele finds Kane. Oh, what a pass that is to Christian Eriksen. And how has he missed that? That deserved a goal. That pass from Harry Kane was... Messi-esque I guess, that's the best way to describe that, but how has Eriksen missed that? Come on! But fair play to Harry Kane, that was one of the best passes I've seen in career mode. Son sees the pace of Ryan Sesegno and there he goes forward. This is what we need from Ryan Sesegno. I have no idea how the defender is keeping up with him. Ryan Sesegno, oh he's done him there. Find Son. Son with the fake shot. Cuts this one to Harry Kane who couldn't get the shots off, but good build-up play. I decided to start Sesegnon because he's having a good run of games already, he's playing well, so it kind of makes sense to, you know, give him a taste of Champions League football. And so far, 
it's paying off. What a touch from Deli Ali. This might be a great chance for us. Deli Ali, look at the pace from Ali. Should score this. I I'm sorry, what? That was a driven shot, you know. And he just decided to sky that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but... Well, we can excuse Deli Ali for that because of his goal scoring form lately. So, he gets a pass for that. This is some nice build up play from Copenhagen and their shot hits the post. We get really lucky there and Copenhagen probably would have deserved the lead if they would have scored because so far they look to be the better side. Thank God that hit the post. Yes Son, we might have a chance now. Sonaldo on the attack gets past their entire defence, chips the keeper and he hits the post on the rebound. Eriksen does score. Let's go. We've made it one then in the 45th minute against the run of play. I'm going to say that, but a great finish from Christian Eriksen on the rebound. And I kind of feel bad for Copenhagen. At the same time, same time, I kind of feel happy for Eriksen. He's put in a lot of effort in these past few episodes. Hasn't really got the reward in terms of goals or assists. But finally, a bit of an acrobatic effort gets him the goal. Really nice improvisation from him as we lead 1-0 in this Champions League game. Falk down the wings, this is not good, great cross played in, Dyer coming back to clear, they've got a massive chance here as Pieros gets the shots off, thankfully it was way above the crossbar, but yeah, Copenhagen are putting us under a lot of pressure, they've definitely given us tougher games than both Swansea and of course West Ham. Sesegno with a brilliant pass to Son, releases him into great amount of space, Son now, Cuts inside, into open space, what a chance for Eriksen to volley this home, but the volley was good, but not on target. Long ball approach from Copenhagen, Fischer heads that one down to Zeka. still Zeka. that really wasn't the best option for me sliding that way, the shot's taken, Loris makes the save, they still have a chance on the rebound, and I think it rattles the crossbar after Loris made the save. This has been one hell of a tense game. And so far, it looks like it could go either way. We're lucky to have the advantage, but this is a massive chance for them. Pieros chips the keeper and he hits the crossbar or the post once again. I'm not sure, but wow, they have been so unlucky in this game. I kind of feel bad for them now. They still might have a chance. Here's Jekka. Brilliant pass to Johansson who gets the shots off, but that was the wrong choice. He should have cut inside, maybe waited for a pass. Luckily, he took the wrong option. And now they've got themselves a corner. And thankfully, we do clear it away. We might still have a chance to counter. Maybe not. This has been one hell of an intense Champions League game. And that is how that game comes to an end. A really tense victory for us against Copenhagen. You know what? I don't know how we managed to win that game. The luck we had, absolutely insane. But brilliant news is we got all three points required from this tough Champions League game. And I guess that is what that matters. Harry Kane for once didn't score, which is odd, but regardless, decent performance, Eriksen getting the game winner, so all in all, pretty happy with the result. Even Real Madrid have managed to win their game against uh, Dortmund, which means it's going to be between us and Real Madrid for that top spot, at least so far by the table, and it's going to be a tough game against them. We face them, I believe, in the next episode, which is going to be one hell of a game. Spurs versus Real Madrid are... First big Champions League game, as you could say, you know, Dortmund game was pretty big, but this one is against an elite of the elite club. So I'm excited for that task against Real Madrid. Now to end off this episode, we've got Huddersfield and I'm going to be going with a bit of a weak squad. Not really my first team because they're in the relegation zone and I'm hoping we still will be able to, you know, pick up the win. A few plays aren't fully fit, the likes of Son and all. So let's hope that actually works out well for us. So... Let's jump right in. Yes, guys, four games in today's episode because in the previous episode I could only fit in two, so making up for that, you know? Anyways, let's jump right in. Our final game of this episode comes against Huddersfield. They've been struggling in the league and hence I'm kind of taking a bit of a risk going with this lineup because I am resting a lot of my big players because of fitness reasons. But of course, if things don't work out well, I am going to bring on the big guns, the likes of Harry Kane. Let me just check if I've kept them on the bench. Uh, Kane is on the bench, so yeah, things should be sorted. Also, Foyt gets the game. He didn't really perform well in that game in the Carabao Cup, but I'm willing to give him another chance to prove his worth. So this is the team that I've gone for. Let's see what we can do. Lucas down the wings, utilizing the pace. This is what we need from Lucas. That is brilliant stuff from Lucas. I see the run of Lautaro Martinez. He controls that well, gets the shots off, and that is a sensational finish from Lautaro Martinez. Credit where it's due, that cross from Lucas was inch perfect. 
to Lautaro Martinez who chested down. The control was brilliant to actually keep the ball near him and then the volley home was stunning and we take the lead against Huddersfield. Can we make it seven wins in the Premier League out of seven? That is something we are yet to see but a brilliant goal from Lautaro. His first in the Premiership gives us the lead. Finds Pritchard. This is not good news. Pritchard with a shot and Ince defends it for me. That was a bit funny, but yeah, Huddersfield with a chance, but they wasted it. Danilo. What a pass to Nkuru. Now La Lamela finds Nkuru again, and here we go on the attack. The pace is unreal as Lucas. That is a simple goal, one of the most simple goals. Lucas will get to score. The pace in our team is ridiculous, and in this episode, I'm playing probably the best FIFA I've played in a long, long, long time. As Lucas doubles up our lead, 2-0 against Huddersfield brilliantly done once again and credit to again and kuru that cross was inch perfect mooney oh no finds thomas since he should score and he does score it's similar to the previous two games we played we take the we take a tuna lead and they bounce back with one normally we do of course get the job done off this but it could be different here and i'm hoping it will not be and we can you know plow through this and get ourselves a third goal and potentially win this game so far we're playing way better than Huddersfield so I'm hopeful now Nkuru with the pace finds Lamela once again this might be a similar chance for us Nkuru crosses this one it finds its way to Lucas but he couldn't direct that towards goal that was to be honest a terrible attempt from Lucas you'd expect more from such a technically gifted player but regardless, we're creating some fantastic chances and it's all down to the pace we have down the wings. Here's Lucas again. He's offside this time. This game seems to be anyone's game right now. Huddersfield with a chance from a corner. Decent corner. Mooney doing well. Lamela, what is going on? Chaotic defending. Somehow we get it away. Aurea. Lautaro Martinez. This is his chance to double up his lead. Lautaro should score. And he does. And that is a calm and composed finish from a top, top striker. And he's exactly that. That is why we brought him in to, you know, kind of reduce the pressure on Harry Kane. And he's doing exactly that. We've got another goal scoring player in our team. And his name is Lautaro Martinez. An assist for Sir Joria, but this one was all Lautaro. He made a brilliant run. And look at that for a finish. Beside the keeper, no chance for him to save that. And it's the same script in our last three Premier League games. The opposition shows some fight, but. Our attacking ability is just too much for them to counter and hence we do get the result. Let's hope this goes the same way. Out wide to Kachunga. Billing. Plays this one into Ince and wow. Thomas Ince take a bow. That was a stunning finish. I'm not going to complain at all about that. I want to actually have a look at that again. Nice build up play from Huddersfield but what was my player doing there? Could be a foul I think. Danilo probably would have you know, deserved a foul there but... What a finish from Thomas uh, can't take anything away from that goal. I guess it is game on. Oh no, this is not good at all. Pritchard plays this one in behind to Mooney. Loris comes out and saves the day. Brilliant goalkeeping from him. And yeah, that might be the, uh, a save that you know gives us the three points in this game. Billing, again, look at the pressure from Huddersfield. They're doing all what they can to get back in this one. But it isn't enough as we do pick up another three points in the Premier League. That is now three straight wins in the Prem in this episode itself. In fact, it's basically seven straight wins in the Prem. Seven or more. I think, yeah, seven straight wins in the Premier League. So things are going so well for us in the series. And I'm hoping it continues because I'll show you guys what games we have in the next episode because... Some of them are just some insane games and maybe we could drop points in the next episode, you never know. But so far, things are going really well. Juan Foyt is happy with the game time he's got and that's really nice to see. He still needs to perform a bit better though. Scout has returned. The one scout that we've sent to, you know, get that extremely talented youngster has come back. Um, sorry, what? Um, who's the play he's brought back? I think it's Ethan Morgan, is he? Yeah, I think it is Ethan Morgan. I don't remember his name. So, 77 to 94 potential is CDM. What? I'm sorry, what is this? I think we've got the best CDM possible now in this game because this is insane. He's only 5 foot 6 so maybe we're gonna give him like, you know what, he's, he's pretty much our Kante. He's pretty much the English Kante. 94 sprint speed, 94 agility, 91 balance. What is this? I mean, this guy is a beast. Well, that thing worked, man. The youth scout thing worked, and I'm pretty happy about that. Ethan Morgan. Wow, I'm excited to use him now in FIFA. 
Uh, I'll probably promote him soon. He's only 46 rated. He's still got to improve a lot of his stats, but things are looking solid. He even has 78 finishing. Is he even a CDM? I don't understand. Time to find out who wins player of the month and it is our man Dele Ali who wins this, who was brilliant in this episode, deservedly so, wins this award and he's been phenomenal in this episode and I'm sure he'll be even better in episodes to come. Um, as I said, next episode some cracking games, we're gonna have Bournemouth, we're gonna have Real Madrid and Liverpool. Real Madrid and Liverpool in the same episode, it's gonna be a cracking one. And I'm so hyped for the next one, especially that Real Madrid game. We could decide where we finish in our Champions League group, first or second. And yeah, that's about it. Let's have a look at the league table before ending off the episode. And so far in the Prem, we are balling out. 21 points in 7 games. Manchester City in second place with 16. 5 point lead already for us. We're doing really well. But next few episodes, we're going to find out how our form is going to be in the Prem. Because we've got the likes of Liverpool, Man United, Arsenal... Leicester even very very soon so, so so some tough games coming up soon I can't even speak properly but regardless that is pretty much the end of this episode it's been a sensational episode now time for you guys to vote for your in form player of the episode before we ended off we obviously do that so to vote just click the i button on the top right of the screen your nominees for this one are Deli Ali again who was absolutely insane in this episode and your second nominee and your second nominee is Lautaro Martinez. I was going to go with Harry Kane for this one, but I kind of felt Lautaro deserved a nomination more than Kane because Kane, that's pretty much a standard now, you know, scoring a goal here and there and getting a few assists and even more goals. But Lautaro scored a brace and got us the three points in a tough Prem game. So fair play to Lautaro. He gets his nomination and you guys can decide who to vote. But between, between either Lautaro or Zeli Ali, just click the i button to vote. And that is about it for today's episode. It's been a cracking one. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be because we've had four games. But let me know if you guys prefer these long episodes. But anyways, drop a like if you've enjoyed. 500 likes would be absolutely insane. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content. And I will see you guys very soon with another episode of this series.